It's a quick look at the GT Power Duo 607. It's a DC charger for LiPo, LIFE, uh, NICAD, etc. Comes with two breakout boards. Load of auxiliary cabling. Um, one for JST. Two Dean's female. Uh, Dean's female to crocodile clips. Dean's female again to a servo header, a female servo header. Um, I think this is for a glow plug, I assume. Dean's female again. This is the mains, uh, main output to it for bank one and bank two. Uh, banana plugs to male Dean's. And the unit itself. Its input is crocodile clips and it takes I believe 10 to 18 volts input yeah and it outputs uh, 0.1 to 7 amps uh, charge and it could discharge up to an amp on either cell Um, it's anodized metal of some sort, um, feels quite weighty. Um, it's got a small cooling fan, I presume, for discharging. Um, it's got all the normal programs you would find on a four button charger um, storage, balance, charge, fast charge. Um, has usual errors over voltage, under voltage, you can set the um, input minimum voltage alarm, um, maximum capacity, um, how long the duration of the charges. Um, the buttons aren't tactile at all, they are just sort of um, sensitive to the touch without any feedback whatsoever. You have on each side a balance port and a temperature sensor although I don't know where you would get a temp temperature sensor for this. Um, regards run it off mains just either clip this onto crocodile clips with um, a female DC jack or something and run it off a laptop charger or some other AC to DC converter um, so far I've storage charged something and checked them with the flute meter and they were accurate to 3.8 volts on the storage charge um, across 3 or 4 batteries on both uh, banks um, I've yet to try and fully charge anything but According to the um, storage level, I don't see it being a problem. For the price, it's a brilliant little unit. Um, so I'll do a follow up after I've used it a bit. This is how I currently use it until I have the right connectors arrive and uh, convert it to AC usage. Uh, the crocodile adapters to a female barrel jack. Um, plug it into the mains hook up the output to to a I'll do it to a JST just got a little 1S battery 
This is going to pick this up. Okay, now I've reset the exposure for a one cell battery. Um, I'll go through the program. Um, we're on the second port at the moment. Um, at the back out of that. The program select. Uh, user set program. Uh, LiPo type. Input power. Cut off vol uh, voltage. Uh, if you want a beep and a buzz, uh, capacity cut off, safety timer cut out, um, waste time, that's between charge and discharge, how long it lets your battery cool down for, um, temperature cut out, uh, NICAD sensitivity, uh, same for nickel metal hydride, um, your check time for your LiPo, and your LIFEs etc. Um, back up that. Back to the program select you can load. I think you can have up to um, 5 or 10 different programs saved. Um, ah, it's 5. So I don't want to save that. Uh, lead battery, no care, nickel metal hydride. Uh, LiPo for example, uh, charge, discharge, storage, fast charge, balance, so we'll do a balance, uh, a storage charge, and hold down the start button. There we go. Now I shall just grab a multimeter to verify the voltage for you. Okay, a thermometer. Just going to this. Is a flute. You can see this. There you go. Three point eight oh four oh three. Doesn't get any more accurate than that, so quite happy to be on two decimal places um, where it's pretty much uh, the same as what was shown on the charger unit itself. So. And the modification I've done instead of crocodile clips is just a female barrel jack adapter. Um, add screw terminals, just covered it in heat shrink, and that's good enough. Just plug it in, and there we go. And back to the program menu.